Hello, welcome. There are thousands of plugins for Obsidian and it can get overwhelming to see, is this one good? Should I use it? Should I not use it? What does it do? So I thought that it might be helpful to go through my own personal vault that I use every day, all day for years and show you exactly what I use and how I use them. Hello, welcome. My name is Jonathan Pritchard. More than a half million people have watched my Obsidian videos and I've never gone through my own vault. And that's why I made this right here. So we're gonna go through the 10 top plugins that I use in alphabetical order. I'm just gonna go through the ones that I've got plugged in and then say, okay, yeah, these are, these are it. So if that sounds interesting to you, then let's dive into it. Okay, we're going to dive into my real vault. This is the one that I use. And to do this, I figured I would just use my my daily note and just kind of show you how it's all set up. And we'll just go through the community plugins uh, one at a time and show you how they work, give you a little preview. So here we go. Uh, first up, Admonition. This one is pretty cool um, because there are call outs I, I don't think i've done a video on call outs but they're really helpful to call out information to make it show up even more vividly when you're in here so you can create your own kind of version of call outs here which let's go into here so yeah i can make one for what i ate today ideas i'm thinking about and you could make whatever you want with uh, different uh, different icons, call it whatever you want, so that when you go in, actually here, we'll, we'll do this one, uh, plug in exam <laughs> examples. There we go. And insert call out, admonition, insert call out, and we can see all of them here and consume Say, yep, that's what we want. Admonition title, things I ate today, and insert. Okay, super simple. And you can say pizza, some more things, whatever you want. And there's your call out. You can collapse it make it bigger. So if you wind up using callouts all the time, use this one so that you can create your own and make it look however you want. And that is plugin number one. Plugin number two, let's look for it. We've got the community plugins here. There we go. Uh, advanced tables. Absolutely. This one, I use it so so much, so much, because I, I just, I use tables all the time. So it looks very simple. Like there's not a lot going on here, but this is required <laughs> because, uh, over here on the right hand side, um, is this little icon here and it lets you click buttons to do everything that you would normally have to know the code for to do a markdown table. So we'll insert table and heading one, tab, heading two. I know it's misspelled, hit enter. And something here, something there. You can't do all of what I just did with normal tables. You've got to have advanced tables to be able to hit tab and go to the next one and hit enter. You can also click and drag rows. You can click and drag columns. It's crazy useful. And when you're in the table, you could then say, move that row down, uh, insert a row up whatever so right so you can edit add a, a column add a row delete a row delete a column all of that without having to know the code which is 
pretty fantastic. Also, you can align text this way as well. So that's value, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then if you're up here, all of it goes left, center, right. And that's what I'm saying. If, if you use tables and you're not using advanced tables, you're living in the dark ages, absolutely uh, install that. Plugin number three is advanced URI. No clue what that is. <laughs> Some of these I've installed and don't use, so don't worry about it. Uh, AOSR is a spaced repetition thing. I don't actually use this. I was checking it out. Archiver. Okay. This one is one of those, you never know you need it until you do kind of things. So this is a way that you can set up when you've got a whole bunch of check boxes and you've checked some of them and you want to get those out of the way, you can set it up with archiver settings here, which is kind of cool. So example one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all these. Okay. So you've clicked these off and that's all good. I've set up a hotkey to bind this. So when I hit command shift a, it goes down here and says watched. Now, why does it say watched down here? Well, because the number one reason I use this is I've got a long list of movies and TV shows that I want to watch things that I want to watch by myself, things I want to watch with my wife, things I can watch with my kids, all that kind of thing. And then as we watch them, I'll check them off. And then I want it to be at the footer of that, that note under the watched heading. And if it doesn't have that heading, it will add it in. So this is behavior you can customize. If this is something that is interesting to you and you really want me to go over all the nuances of this, just let me know in the comments. I, I might make a, a whole video about this, but as you can see really quick, handy if you are trying to keep your to-do list clean from all the things that you've done you can clear it out with that plugin four let's check it out with better word count i like this a lot all these settings are down in here but right down here at the bottom you can see uh, 70 words 807 characters so i like having it in my status bar and and it's here as well so i just like keeping track of how many words are in a note and it's always down there in the status bar super lightweight very easy to use doesn't do much but the thing i need it to do it does perfectly now if you're finding this useful and you find it overwhelming of all these plugins and which ones should i install first and how do i do all this stuff Glad you asked. I've got a whole course that takes you from zero to fully functional system to run your whole life and business, especially useful if you're a creator, you're an author, writer, graphic designer, anybody that makes stuff and needs to keep track of things, this is for you. It goes from zero install to fully functional system in under 90 minutes, and it will show you exactly which plugins to use, for what reasons, how to set up your vault, everything you need from scratch to fully functional system that is here. So click the link link here in the basement and I will see you in the course. But now back to the general plugins. And that is with plugin number five, which is calendar. Let's click on this calendar again, very few options, but it's always live down here in my lower right hand corner. This is where I've got my calendar always. And the number of dots means how much did you write that day? I haven't written all that much today, but that dot will get filled in. And when you click on it, the way that I've set it up in, in that course that I, I just talked about, it brings up today's to do list, like uh, the daily note. So if we're over here and we close that out and we click on the 14th, it will open up 
the daily note for that day. Extraordinarily useful. Can't live without it. Get it yesterday. Plugin number six is color tags wrangler. No commander. Uh, no data view. Yes. Okay. Data view is one of those things that is a nightmare to figure out, especially for somebody like me who doesn't really code. I can copy code and put it where I need to and script kitty it into place. And I do have a whole video about data view. So if this is interesting to you, go check out that one, but understand that it can be a lot, but when you do have it, you can do a lot. So to that end, let's go over to this master task list. Yeah. So here um, I can see my workout stuff, chin up, palms away, pull ups, palms forward, take out the trash. That's stuff I got to do. Uh, things I have to do tomorrow will come down from things this week that I'm doing things I have to do tomorrow drop here. And then things I have to do today are here. And then when it's overdue, it comes up here and it's looming over my head. So this simple four step process of keeping track of my tasks works with canvas and data view together. And it's, it's fantastic. So that's a peek into my brain of how I keep track of tasks and it wouldn't work without data view which is why this is absolutely an essential one. Now on to plugin seven, which is DB folder. Uh, we'll talk about that one later. Dice roller. Actually, you know what? Sure. Let's, let's talk about this one. I use it <laughs> more than you might think I should. Uh, so yeah, why not? Dice roller lives up here in the upper right hand corner for me and you can roll 3d6 there they are and the total is five an abysmal roll one of the worst you could possibly do thanks a lot dice you, you didn't show me any love on camera but check this out if you want to roll it again you can roll it again and hey look at that way better results so you can save your results down here you can say 3d6 keep lowest two and let's see if i remembered that correctly okay so the six is high so it was dropped the two lowest are five and its total is 10. so if you roll 2d 20 keep highest you're rolling with advantage if you're playing dungeons and dragons so this is what the d20s look like then i still would have only gotten a seven which is a major bummer but Th this is so extensive, so incredible that if you are a tabletop role playing games nerd like me, I mean, that's a D20 uh, <laughs> neon light back there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm representing uh, if you keep track of characters or you need to do any kind of rolling of dice, then I highly recommend that you get dice roller. And that is worth its whole, a whole course you could build out on how to manage campaigns and everything with just obsidian and dice roller, 10 out of 10, highly recommended. Plugin eight is emoji shortcuts. Actually, this is pretty handy. Um, let's, let's show you what it is. Just hit colon and then thumbs down and there's your emoji. I've got emojis in Raycast here, so I can say emojis and then thumbs up and thumbs down. So I can do it that way, but it's actually kind of faster to do it with the colon here natively in Obsidian. So if you do a lot of emojis and, and you want to say, um, put a pin in it, push pin, do that thing. This is how you do it. Plug in number nine. We are sneaking up on it here. Fantasy stat blocks. Nope. File creation of last modified timestamps in status bar. Um, yeah. Folder notes. No nope. footnote shortcut. No full calendar. No gamified task. No nope. high hider highlighter. Okay. This one is actually useful, super useful. So 
we have a string of words here and only only some get highlighted okay highlight it right click and hit highlight and you can pick whichever one you want and toxic is one that i've created myself because i like that it's this particular color and then when you click off it's crazy highlighted here great way of calling attention to information if you don't want to use a call out and you want this in line use highlighter and you can't miss it and plugin number 10 is homepage iconize kanban yeah this is hands down the most useful thing so we'll just say plugin 10 is kanban and it's it's fantastic so packages and orders all sorts of stuff that i've ordered things i'm i'm waiting on that's the the thing that i use the most <laughs> to just pull things through and i've made a a whole video about kanban taking things through stages sales pipelines project management um that is hands down the most useful way of seeing where different tasks are in a repeatable kind of recipe format of a of a pipeline so yeah i guess we just did a through k um uh, so yeah that was 10 plugins that i can't live without the ones that i use every day that's what they are if you found this interesting let me know maybe i'll make the rest of the k through z or as far as we get <laughs> because yeah these plugins can get confusing but hopefully you've enjoyed that and it's useful to you if you saw one that i haven't made a video for and you'd like me to take a deeper dive into it yeah again let me know in the basement and if you're still here congratulations let me know by hitting the like and that will tell youtube that other cool people like you need to see this as well and i will see you in this video in the meantime